Recite it with down feathers on. I love you. And write it, recite it with down feathers on. Oh that mean that shit cold. <laughs> and I'm the coldest. Listen, yeah. that's the message right here. Black <laughs> like, boy, tell me oh. how you really feel. <laughs> Cause I just wanna build with you Black yeah. girl, tell me how you really feel I wanna keep it real with you I wanna live better, eat better I wanna love better, sleep better Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned I gotta stop smiling first I gotta, I gotta make it look real It's okay to smile Black men don't see enough of y'all smiling So it's good No, I fucked up. Man, listen, you get one look, more time. Cause look, cause look, I had sat down and put my elbow, and then my elbow fell. So I look, <laughs> I look. I'm gonna keep all that shit in there too. That's what's funny. <laughs> Go ahead, sit down. Cause I think why it's important is like if um, and you know this, the average nigga see you on the street, they're gonna think, oh damn, she got, she just her shit don't stink. She got her stuff together. No, she does everything sexy, and then no. seeing you do this shit, they gonna realize, oh, no. she's just, she's just a person. Yeah, I get that, she's, but she's some shit I don't, some shit ain't for the world. Some shit Goofy? is just, some shit is just for intimate settings. I get that, but I think about it like little boys need to see that. Because when they grow up, they're going to be like, okay, either they're going to be the boy who puts girls on pedestals and get fucked you over. You're right, you right. Or they're going to realize that she's a human being, so you let me right. talk to her like she's a human being. So you're that's right. why I says black boy, tell me how you really feel. You're right. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I think this is good. How did the media, that means music and movies mm -hmm. specifically, Shape your initial expectations of black men. I don't think that shaped how I view black men. I feel like the only thing that shaped how I view black men is experience. I don't think like something I seen in a movie or on social media or heard on the radio or podcast or TV really can make me think of anything towards black men. It's really just experience, like just how I grew up or relationships or situations or friendships even that I've had. It's, that's the only thing that can shape me, like real life experiences is the only thing that could shape how I view black men. And music too. Matter of fact, actually, I'll take that back. Music is probably the only thing that um, had an effect on that too. All right, so to follow up with that, how do you view black men? What were your initial expectations of black men based on all those things you listed, childhood, music? I mean, initial expectation, how I said previously, is provide and protect. That's like the top two. Like when I think of black men, I think of that's the role or responsibility that they should acquire or acquire all around. Like I got three brothers, so I'm the only girl, I'm the baby. So, you know, they was chasing dudes away. Like, you know, like being the female in a male dominated household and like that's pretty much what made me already like always think too as well like when i said um we're not like valued much because i mean who gonna care about what a little eight-year-old thinks a little girl a little eight-year-old girl you know what i'm saying so but other than that, like experiences, I mean, usually it's hard to actually believe that men are faithful. Let's just talk about that relationship wise. I mean, it's, I do believe it's some dudes that won't cheat, but they probably want to because it's in y'all's nature. And y'all don't know how to be mon naturally monogamous. As you so like to put it, po polygamy is like 
what is already in you, I guess. But, um, protect, provide, and, you know, y'all have to run everything. Y'all have to be, like, so rough and stiff with everything, like, and sometimes y'all have a guard up. That's another thing I learned, too. Y'all really have this guard up towards us, too, and I understand why. Just as much as we have a guard up towards y'all as well for our reasons, and y'all have y'all up for y'all's reasons too. But um, I don't hate y'all. I really love y'all for real. I don't see myself not being with a black man. So. <laughs> no, what? That's good. All right, so. <clears throat> This is a two-part question. I'm going to give you the first part answer, and then I'm going to give you the second part. That's just a three-part question. First part. First part. Three parts. First part. And it kind of goes back to that first question. Describe your ideal man. If you could build a nigga, describe your ideal man. Okay. So... All around. Physically, mentally, financially... Okay. And I feel like I'm speaking for everybody when I say this, not just me. So, and I'm not saying that anything opposite of that is wrong, but it's just a preference. Yeah. Um, hold on, I gotta clean my glasses. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do that, please. This is off guard moments. I still don't like how it's. But, um, Bill's an ideal man. I mean. Be honest. You ain't got a shit in coach. I'm shit. trying to think, like, I don't want to. Okay, so it's a lot of public figures who I would like to incorporate with who I would. Okay, athletic, not necessarily an athlete, but you know, everybody want to find this man or whatever. Everybody want to, you know, a dude to look a certain way, dress a certain way, talk a certain way, act a certain way, have a certain type of mentality. Um, it's going to be dudes watching and listening to this. So spell that out for them. The 16-year-old boy, what does that mean, look a certain way? What does that mean, okay, dress a certain way? tall, dark, handsome, you know, nice teeth. You dress nice. Um, dress how nice because it's, it's 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 the nike suit nigga man, and then it's the suit suit nigga you so, can be both There's what's no, ideal explain what's to that. ideal that i don't feel like it's like a nigga that can go to work in the suit can be the same nigga that get off work and put that nike suit on and fucking go hoop with his boys that can be the same dude there is no like, I feel like a lot of it can be blended in together. I don't feel like Nike suit and so women, suit suit is. So women prefer a man who can do both. Exactly. So you don't necessarily want Nike suit and you don't want suit. You want exactly. a nigga who can do both. Exactly. That can do both. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> a dude that can, like, Handle business outside and handle business business wise. Explain that. And at home. Break that down. Remember what I told you? This not nah, this is for the 16 year old who's watching this. So break that down. He's trying to cultivate the type of man. Don't nobody want no soft dude, no punk. Everybody want, like I said, protection. I want to feel safe with you. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be able to... Remember that movie? Temptation? And them dudes was harassing them, and he ain't do nothing, and she went home feeling so vulnerable and unsafe because he didn't do his job as a man and beat them niggas up. Regardless if he was going to get jumped, it was five of them. However, it was the... The, the effort into wanting to protect your girl, that's all that matters. Even if you can't even fight for real, at least go into it knowing that you showing her that you going to like, you know what I'm saying? You just got done saying, black man, we love you. And now you talk about black man commit suicide. No, <laughs> see, me. see, no, see, that is not what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how to put it without sounding... Like I said, I can only speak from experience. I want to be with someone who I feel safe with, who is going to protect me. Um, somebody who can provide, of course. I mean, my daddy did that, so I expect nothing less. Sorry if that comes out that way, but I mean, every female want to feel like she good and secure. Explain when you said um, talk to me a certain kind of way or talk, you know what I'm saying? Explain um, what that means. Respectfully. Talk to me like you got some sense. Talk to me like you know that I have sense. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me like you about something and talk to me like you know I'm about something too. Like, like... I can't, it's certain dudes, the way certain dudes approach you, you can, I can already off the bat, off the rip, tell like what kind of person you are just by how you look and how you talking to me, how you approach me. Like it's a, it's a difference between a nigga that walk up to you and be like, hey, little mom. Hey, baby, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's the difference between a dude that comes down, sits down next to you and says, hello, how you doing? What's your name? You know what I'm saying? Polite, respectful. It's a, it's a big difference. What you looking at me like that for? Because the A-Lo mamas get more play. Than they, they do get more play, but that don't mean they right. But again. They do get more play, when, but. When boys, black boys, are looking at the world, they're looking and seeing, okay, what's the path of least resistance? What's going to make me the most successful with what I want? Women, pussy, or whatnot. True, so true. they're going to model that behavior. True, so okay. So you hear women saying, I want you to say, hey, how you doing? But when you say, hey, how you doing? They shit on you. See, you know how old I am. So who I was when I was the age I was six years ago is not who... So I'm looking at things differently. Today, I want a dude to approach me with respect and talk to me like a lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want the whole, like, hey, hey, damn. I don't like that shit because it's, it's dudes that will like look at you and just you can see it in their eyes that they objectifying you and I don't like that it makes me feel disgusting it makes me feel like don't look at me like that I don't like being looked at like something like a piece of meat I don't like that and, and they still do that today I want you to look at me like I'm somebody because of how I already feel towards the situation of like how men look at women or how men value women and stuff like that. So when you coming at me talking crazy, like I'm going to act out because I don't like that and I don't appreciate that. That ain't even how you're supposed to come in and approach and like reveal to me like that's that's how you coming. So interesting question, because again, um, you're going to have dudes who are watching this and they will be like, she's that's cap, this and that. So explain it this way. For the good dudes who are going to come and say, hey, how you doing? What do you think, what lesson do you think they can learn from the a little mama dudes who are really successful? Like what piece of their game can they take and add to being a good dude? 
Because they're doing something right. Let's be real. They are doing something right. And most of the time, they right. be funny. The joke, like... I ain't gonna lie, like, sometimes the reason they get played is because, like, they, the, like, the A Little Mama dudes, like, they real smooth with how they come on you. And it's not necessarily directly saying A Little Mama. It be one of them, like, player type dudes that be real cool and, and, and slick at the mouth and smooth talking and, like, real chill and stuff. Like, that's attractive. But sometimes the, the, hey, how you doing guy, he's kind of too, tight. You feel me? Because I'm not tight, but they're more respectful and it's more like welcoming. The how you doing, like I'm more likely to turn around and actually have conversation with you rather than like you, hey, like damn, you now you gonna act like that? Like you feel me? But the little mom, hey, little mommy, now you gonna act like that type of dudes are they funny? They're more spontaneous. Like it's more of like I'm you more likely probably you probably gonna have more of a good time with them. But then, like, it's, how do I say? A bottle of wine, and then, like, you got, like, a bottle of fucking, what's a lit drink everybody drinking? Costume. Like, mm, I mean, yeah, all that good shit, Henny, Patron, all that stuff. But then the glass of wine, and I only drink wine when I'm chilling. Laying back, I only drink liquor when I'm turned up. So it's just like, what would you prefer in your life? You want like that fast life? You want that nigga that's like, hey, let's go pull up over here and and do this and that and go out of town and do all this type of, or you want a dude that's going like sit and watch Netflix with you and like read stories and all that type of stuff. And ain't nothing wrong with either one of them to be real. Like I like turning up, but I like it's it gotta be a balance. Cause the how you doing dude can probably be like that on the side, the turn up type on the side. And sometimes the turn up dude know how to calm it down sometimes. So <sighs> Okay. So the second part of that question is for that ideal dude that you described, right? That ideal man that every woman wants. Describe his ideal woman. I already know. I already know what it is. Like, let's just let's just put it like this. Let's just say this. I'm gonna go based off what men and women prioritize the most. So a male's, a, a dude's ideal woman, number one, she probably more than likely is going to be good looking. Two, she got to listen or submit or whatever. She got to be loyal. She got to um, probably be good with kids and nurturing because you got to think about how, who you want to raise your kids, right? Y'all care about it, right? If you want to have kids with her. Um, I don't know if y'all really care about money like that. A lot of dudes with money don't care about how much a woman got. So it's more about like, do you listen? Are you understanding? Or do you have a good heart? Like, you going do what I say type deal. Can we pause it? I ain't see you pause it. I can cut all this. This isn't live. <laughs> I feel like people be thinking this shit live, like shit broadcasting somewhere. No, I still got to put it on the computer, edit. 
and then upload. Cause it's a lot of stuff that I wish like I could rewind and like fix, like clean up what I said. Cause I feel like I'm all over the place with some of the stuff I'm saying. Cause I'm thinking about so much and I'm trying to put it into like one way. Hmm. 